All right, this is a clay I started 10 years ago. In fact, the last activity on this piece was 2013 uh, in November. And uh, that's almost 10 years ago. And yet the clay is still malleable to a certain extent. I love the guy's face. I just think this piece needs more. And I don't want to let it just go to waste. It was done on a, uh, uh, a shoulder uh, armature from, uh, a shoulder bust armature from uh, Sculpture Depot. And uh, it's a true form armature that they sell. Time to play with some clay. I've got a video uh, that I'm going to show you right now that kind of shows you how I created this piece. Uh, not fully, but I have an instructional video on this uh, creation of this piece, but that was uh, one of the videos I've taken off my list to sell. It's an extra. Anyway, um, I'm going to rethink this piece. Um, I've got to. The uh, gentleman is uh, a historical uh, warrior from... Uh, the Cheyenne Nation, and his name was uh, Henry Roman Nose, and he lived until the 1900s, I think, early 1900s, and uh, he was a peacemaker. He uh, tried to bring his people to peace. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to think, of, rethink this piece. Uh, don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. Um, just gonna, I, I'm thinking of putting my horses coming down like this, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. All right, be right back. From the uh, base to the top of the head is uh, just about 25 and a half inches tall. The head measurement is about eight inches. And that's about what a average uh, uh, head size for a human is, is eight and a half to nine inches. Uh, you've got uh, a uh, skull that can be removed or lengthened or shortened. The uh, neck can be shortened. You've just got the upper part of the thorax and then you've got the uh, base here, which can be carved away if you want to. I'm going to put it on a board so that uh, it's mounted and won't be falling over like that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to uh, first glue this down and then I'm going to put uh, some long screws from below the board up into the uh, base just to make sure it doesn't uh, move at all. But uh, first thing I'm going to do is put some... Uh, wood glue down, and I hope this wood glue is good. And just squish it, squish it down. That's centered. Thank you. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed that video um, that uh, waltzed down memory lane, as far as I'm concerned. Tw ten years ago. I can't believe it's been sitting for that long. It's going to be an expensive piece to reproduce, that's for sure. But uh, I'm going to use my reciprocating saw to uh, get rid of some of this foam in the back. Um, I don't know why I put that much foam on this piece. I have no clue. It's been too many years since. Um, that looks like the original uh, foam um, armature. I'm not sure of that though, because it's been, like I said, 10 years. But anyway, I'll figure out what I'm going to do, uh, whether I'm going to use the three horses I've got right now, uh, or just do new ones. I don't know. Got to think what I'm going to do. All right, everybody. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.